So this was my last video about mounting the uh, Super CD PC Engine games in Magic Engine Emulator. But now I do it a different way. Uh, I use RetroArch. Uh, that way you don't have to mount your CD games. You can just like play them straight away from your front end. Like bubble and play it. So first step, uh, this is my front end I'm using here. Uh, I'm going to have to go through steps of this first before before I get to re retro arch. So what I'm doing now. is adding my CD-ROM games you want to add the Q files so I'm add that Just add a few games. Turbo graphics sixty eight CD Retro Arch. If you don't already if you're wanting to know about this front end as well, you can add emulators. If you type in your emulator, if you uh, what you what you're going to use, and you haven't got it downloaded, you can type it in, and you can click to download, and it'll take you to download page. I've already got mine downloaded. I'm not thinking right this week because I, I've had flu and I've still got it. I'm like trying to get over it. Excuse me. So there are my games I've just added and now we can get to the retro arch stuff. It should be uh, similar anyway uh, when you're using other front ends as well uh, to do with retro arch. Super CD games are a bit different than other core core emulators in RetroArch than they are like your, your Genesis and your Super Nintendo cores. So what you want to do is make sure you've got <coughs> Turbo Graphics CD Super System card USA version 3.0 you'll be able to find that on Google download it it should come in a raw file or a zip file and extract it it'll extract in that name 
and you want to rename the file to syscard3.pce and it wants to go into where your retro arch is in system folder needs to be there I'm going to open retro arch I want to load my core oh. <coughs> I can't load it just yet I've got to update it <coughs> excuse me again the one that I'm going to load in PCE fast cool. so I'm going to load it in now now I can exit this can't play it just yet. I need to tell uh, my front end. Tell it what core to use. You can find the name of the cutter to tell it to use anyway. <coughs> right here. Vor langer Zeit lebten die Menschen glücklich und zufrieden. Niemand bemerkte den Schatten, der sich langsam über ihnen ausbreitete. I think the problem a lot of people may have with PC, PC Engine CD games in RetroArch. Is the system uh, BIOS card and the name it's got to be if you come to info folder and you find that core what we're using this one here you open it with a text editor and if you see here framework pa uh, path and that's the name the BIOS card has got to be your, your 3.0 BIOS card syscard3.pce supported extensions PCE, Q, CCD, ISO 
img bin make sure you've got stuff like that in that uh, in that info folder and as you can see they work fine with, without having to mount any CD runs